Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on um, Midnight Tales, and this is page six. Page six is simple, it's a flap and a pocket. The pocket's gonna get it here to, uh, flush to the bottom of page six, and the pocket is four and a half by nine, so it's four and a half inches tall, nine inches across, and you're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides to make your nice, neat pocket. And I do this offline, so you don't have to watch me run the tape, but I do miter my corners. Uh, just keeps them a little bit tidier when you lay them down. And then um, we've got the top flap, and the top flap is five and a half by eight. Five and a half by eight. And it's going flush to the top. And then all of this is gonna get held together with a magnet. I'm gonna use my pencil to draw a line so I know my magnet needs to be above that line, but far enough away from the edge that I can get my paper around it when I glue my paper down. When you're doing pockets, it's important to have an overlap. You don't wanna place your magnet on the base page uh, because once you start putting stuff in the pocket, then that magnet gets further and further away from the opposing magnet and it, it's harder and harder um, for the magnet attraction to stay strong, depending on how much you put in your pocket. So by placing it on top of the pocket and not on the base, everything is gonna go behind the magnet so it won't matter. So, and I, people didn't tell me that when I first started making albums. I kind of stumbled onto it when I was doing pockets and realized my flaps weren't staying closed. And it's really kind of about thinking, when you put your magnets on, thinking about how many layers are gonna come between the two. And you want it to be as few as possible. And then you get that nice, beautiful snap when it closes, which I love. <laughs> I'm a huge magnet fa fan. There's other ways to close flaps. I like magnets because at the end of the day, if you want to, you can actually place a photo over it. Ties and um, swing tabs and things like that really force you to place your photos around them. You can't place your photos over them. So uh, that's my big reason for always opting on the magnet end of the scale. So there we go. I mean, if this was a swing tab, it would mean you know all, your photo would have to be you know, an inch up from the bottom. Where as it is now, once I get photo paper on it, I could put it anywhere I want. All right, so that is uh, the interactive components for page six. When we get back together, we will start decorating. I'm gonna go line up my paper so it'll go quickly. Hey everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And we're working on, what are we working on? Page six. <laughs> <laughs> I had to double check real quick. I uh, was working on a couple of pages and I set some of my stuff aside. So here we go. So this is from the uh, 12 by 12 collection pack. The purple piece is. And hmm, I need my pick tool. And we are going to do a little, little bit of color blocking here. Not a whole lot. So this page goes together really quick. inked it. Let's see if I've got this right side up. Oh, I do. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. Okay, 
then we're going to put this here, and then we're going to trim this strip down to fit. Now I'm going to lay this in and we are going to trim it to fit and that will be the, the end of the inside of page six. See how we did. I'm going to take a little bit more off. All right, we'll get some ink on this. Again, all the purple is from the a 12 by 12 collection pack. Oh, you know what? Uh, that's still too wide. When I put it in the trimmer and came back, I think I picked up the wrong piece. Oh, that's too too narrow. So that is going to have to dry for a second. And I'm going to trim another slit. I'm going to take another slice off, and um, and then I'll put it back down so it's a, I don't have quite enough black all the way around it. And I'm just going to trim this by hand. I'm going to use a metal ruler and a craft knife. And I'm going to eyeball it. So I need to take off about a sixteenth of an inch. And I'm going to pause because my air conditioner just came on. Okay, I just went ahead and glued that down. Now we're going to finish the inside. I mean the, the top side. 